beloved in Christ. I can see where some people or uh, some believers uh, will say, why don't you just get to putting on the whole armor of God? That's what I really need. That's what I really want to do because I want to do battle. Beloved, that sounds kosher. That sounds that that would be the correct thing to do. Because one has a lot of enthusiasm. But beloved in Christ, you can't fight the enemy with enthusiasm. Because when the war get really dangerous and you see that the devil is not playing games with you, then you will go into hiding and you will become fearful unless you are first truly prepared. There are many today who say that they declare the, the, the armor of God on them every morning before they go out to work so that way they feel protected. Can I say this to you, beloved? Well, what is protecting them when they're sleeping at night? If they had somehow taken the armor off so they could go to bed. Beloved in Christ, when you put the armor on, the armor remains on you. You don't just take it off and put it on because the enemy is forever trying to destroy you, to tempt you. Was not Jesus who said when the disciples fell asleep and he told them to wake up because he was going to the garden of the seminary and to pray? And he told them, he says, pray, don't sleep lest you be tempted. Yes, beloved, tempted while they slept. You ever had that happen to you before? You might have just took a nap. And after you woke up, all of a sudden you had this crazy thought. These thoughts come to your mind about doing something you would not ordinarily even think about doing. But now they are filling your mind. What do you think that comes from? It comes from the enemy of your soul, sowing seeds within your mind, even as you sleep. Beloved, we need full-time protection by God. So that's why we are preparing ourselves in order to receive the fullness of the armor of God, and to know that it's permanently in place. Look what God's word says in Ephesians 5.26. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it. He's talking about the church, but us also. With the washing of the water by the word. Beloved, we put on the armor of God by faith. When that armor is on us, beloved... It is no different, get this now, it is no different than the salvation that you receive. Because the salvation is God's salvation. It is not yours. When people claim that, oh, I'm saved, I got saved, and I got to keep my salvation. They don't have to keep their salvation. That's why, beloved, the main thing about our Heavenly Father is to have understanding of what He wants us to understand. It's not about the knowledge. It's not about all the, oh, I know a lot of scriptures and I'm going to throw this at the devil. No, it is more than that, beloved. It is understanding why it is being done and what is the purpose for it being done and the results that will come thereafter. Because the enemy is, is as a rabid dog. He will not give up on you because he believes that he can eventually take you down and take others with you. 
So, beloved, we need to be washed with the word. So that way, when we put on the whole armor of God, we are cleansed in order to receive that armor. And that that armor that we put on will be effective for our lives. And then, beloved, we are to stand and fight against the enemy. But let me say this, beloved. There are many who do not ever put on the armor of God. There are some who put on partial armor. And that's what most believers are with. They take the word and they believe that they are fully protected. But they're not. That's why the word of God tells us to take on the full armor of God. Amen. And beloved, unless we are cleansed, Unless we are righteous before God, beloved, we cannot even put that full armor on for our protection. Can a person be a Christian and not have the armor on and still enter into heaven? Exactly. Yes, they can. But this is for our protection here, for our family protection. Amen? It is an insurance policy that is guaranteed by God on this side. Amen. Beloved in Christ, may the Father open your heart to His understanding in the name of Yeshua, Jesus the Christ.